track review. Uh, 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 ow, ow. Shit just ain't bit but toes and hicks. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hello, my needle drops. This is track reviews, where we talk about the latest in rock, pop, electronic, and experimental music, and whether or not it's good. Before we get into the track review, I have some mail. There's a carrot. There's a mail. Let's open the mail. Let's open the mail. Palinque Palinque, Champeta, Criolla, and Afro Roots in Colombia from 1975 to 91. This is the new compilation on Soundway Records. May get around to uh, reviewing this, may not, but I want to tell you guys right now, I've been listening to it, and it's pretty freaking badass. Okay? Soundway Records, Soundway, 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 Palinque Palinque. Mm. Picture of the release that these two tracks come from. The new 7-inch for Panda Bear's upcoming album, new single right here, Tomboy. This Animal Collective member is slated for a new LP in September. It'll be his fourth album and follow-up to the critically lauded person pitch. And of course, this is all happening after the big Animal Collective craze of 2009, where everybody was freaking out over the LP picture, Meriwether Post Pavilion. I wonder what Cal Chesta thinks about Animal Collective. You know, sometimes they're a little boring for me, but I do love that saying, My girl. My girl wants material things like social stats. My girl. I hate Cal Chesta. I hate Cal Chesta so freaking much. Guys, we're going to listen to the A side. And the B-side of the 7-inch, look for links down there as to uh, where you can hear them with your ears. Here are the tracks Tomboy and Slow Motion. Okay, guys. Pretty much what you can expect out of these things is really what we have come to based on releases like Person Pitch and... Of course, Panda Bear's work in Animal Collective, a lot of psychedelic effects and electronics and minimalism. With the track Tomboy, there was just loads of repetition and strange samples throughout the song. I don't know if you guys heard this, but right in the beginning of the track, two spots right in the beginning. It seems pretty clear to me that there is a recording of someone throwing up into a toilet. It sounded like there was an explosion at one point of the song and just a lot of strange sounds I just cannot identify that were hanging behind all of the reverb, all of the abstract vocal melodies, and all of the guitar strumming. The percussion was very constant. There was this cute little pop in there, a lot of thudding bass drum. This thing was just really kind of relentless with how mm, repetitive it was. I would have liked a little bit more contrast to be completely honest, a little bit more contrast, but still, the sounds on this track are pretty great. The monotony and the fact that this track didn't have all that much mystery were probably my two biggest gripes about this thing. It didn't really seem all that puzzling. Panda Bear's music doesn't need to be puzzling to be good, but that's really what I've always come to enjoy about it the most, when it is puzzling. So on this first track, I'm really feeling a light to decent six. Now, Slow Motion, on the other hand, had this opening beat that just had me like, Oh, yeah. The reverb was magnificently tight, a lot of slap bag with just one syllable wrapping around the next and just really emphasizing the percussion of this track. And these very strange chords that were playing, I didn't know if they were keyboards or if it was just some kind of manipulated guitar sound, could have been either. And what I loved about this track, a lot of rhythmic experimentation, which shows up in some of my favorite Panda Bear and Animal Collective songs. This thing seemed like it was in six, but it was counted in a very strange way. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one. It sounded like a broken record, but in a good way. Very surreal, trippy, strange kind of way. Unlike Tomboy, I felt like this track had a lot more texture, 
a little bit more dynamics, just as repetitive though, but this one really did play with my head a lot more than the previous track. I know off the bat this one is not going to be as accessible as the A side of this 7 inch, but I enjoyed this a little bit more. I enjoyed this more. I'm actually feeling a strong 7 on that track, slow motion. Like in slow motion more, what can I say? But you guys heard these two tracks, let me know what you think of both of these. Which one do you like more than the other, and what do you expect of this upcoming Panda Bear album? Hmm? Anthony Fantano, Panda Bear, Tomboy, forever.